Hi everybody, it's Lori here today to show you my Rose Girls Big Kahuna box. So this was my Valentine's Day present for my husband. <laughs> he asked me what I wanted. He never quite knows what to get me and I said I want this Big Kahuna box. <laughs> So it circled the globe like all of my other packages and it made it here. Not the vendor's fault. I always say that it's not. It's, you know, <laughs> we know whose fault it is. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Everybody's shipping everything, I guess. So anyway, <laughs> it got here all in one piece, made it before Valentine's Day. So <laughs> that's a good thing. So before we jump into that and I show you the goodies that I got in my box, I want to welcome you if you're new to the channel. I hope you decide to subscribe and become a part of the channel. It does really make me smile and make my day when I see new subscribers. It's always awesome to watch that number go up and have more engagement on the channel and, and people contributing and commenting. I love it. So I hope you decide to become a part of the channel and I want to welcome you back if you're a returning subscriber or visitor, I hope you decide to subscribe if you haven't already and welcome to all of those that are new. So I'm so happy to have everybody as a part of this channel. So, okay, so let's get to what you clicked on this for. <laughs> With my big kahuna box from Rose Girls. This is the five pound box. And I believe it was, it, she put it up in January of 2021. So let's go through what I got. You're gonna to wanna to hang on to the end. I'm saving. <laughs> I'm saving the loaf to the end so you can see my reaction. Wasn't just clickbait, believe me. <laughs> I was, first of all, I was really excited and then I was very perplexed. So you'll wanna hold on <laughs> and stay tuned to see what that is. So let me unpack the box and I'll show you everything that I got. So let me get to the business card first. This is Rose Girls. Jenny Oaks is the owner there. She puts these on her website once in a while. They're not on there all the time. They usually go very quickly and stay tuned to find out if I would do this again. <laughs> all right. So there's a lot of different packages here with a lot of different scents that she has. So I already went through and I wrote down the scent notes because I need to know that just so that I kind of have an idea of what I'm starting with. And, I, you know, I keep it on there, too. She does not put the scent notes or the pour dates on here. So I do that, um, you know, once I get the box, I usually put the date that I received it. Okay, so this first one is, what is this, Kaylin's Scotcheroos here, which is butterscotch and marshmallows. Yeah, I really like this one. I think it needs just a hint, uh, a little bit more time, which is fine. I'll let it um, sit a little bit more, but I definitely smell, it. it's definitely butterscotchy. So I got this, nice sizes. I will say these are nice sizes to try. Um, a lot of different scents of hers and combos, so that's kind of why I did it. <laughs> I wanted to try some new ones. The next one is Taste the Rainbow, which is Purple Cow, Satsuma, Key Lime Pie, and Chicks Dig It. Hmm. I mean, Satsuma, I get that right off the bat. Get some grape in there. I don't know how much Key Lime Pie I get. I, yeah, it's really, let me just say, it's really just bright and fruity and fresh. So this I'm definitely going to love, melting that one. I picked up in the box, obviously, <laughs> Angels Among Us. And I have a larger size of this as well. This is black Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Strawberry Shortcake, and Saltwater Taffy. Mmm. I get the, I, I get both. I get the strawberry um, shortcake and the blackberry jam butter cookie. Maybe a hint of toffee, but I don't think that's strong anyway. It kind of is, is I want to say a binding <laughs> fragrance or it kind of smooths things out, gives it a little bit of depth and creaminess. So that's really nice. Let's see, I got this banana bread carbs here. So this is banana cream pie, baked zucchini bread, baked bread, cookies, and donuts. Yeah, I mean, it's banana goodness. 
I really, it really, it smells like banana bread and almost pudding to me. I mean, I guess I get a hint of pie crust in here. Mm, that's delicious. Yeah, <laughs> that's really nice. Really good banana. I like that one a lot. This next one is, it was a good day, which is angel fluff salad, summer sorbet and lemon cookies. Right up my alley right now. Had to stop my son from <laughs> stealing this one from me. I'm like, no, first of all, I'm doing a video. And second of all, no, <laughs> get your hands off of it. My Valentine's Day gift. Oh, this is really good. I mean, I get the lemon cookies in here. I mean, lemon is the predominant note in here. So it's sorbet. I think I get a little bit of raspberry, even some peach. Smells like a little bit of that in here. So it's basically a delicious fruit salad kind of fragrance. Really, really nice. Smooth out with some, it smells like some wa uh, marshmallows, watermelon, what? Marshmallows in here. And yeah, that one's really nice as well. Frosted cranberry kettle corn donuts. So that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> cranberry kettle corn donuts. Yeah, I get a lot of that frosted cranberry. That is really the predominant note. I'm gonna let this sit a little bit because surprisingly, I'm not smelling the kettle corn or the donuts. So this, I might set this aside for the fall. Honestly, right now, I don't know how I feel about this one. The frosted cranberry is super predominant and I'd like a little bit more, you know, donutty aspect to this one. So we'll put this one aside and see how we feel about it. The next one is Blueberry Hill. I have a bigger one of this and this one, I don't know how I feel, but I'm gonna melt it because things change on melting. It's a blueberry and frankenberry cereal. It doesn't, sm it smells really like candied fragrances to me. So like, yeah, like the sugar, like, <laughs> like a pixie stick almost to me. It's that candied blueberry, which I'm not 100% loving. And you know, that's the predominant note that I get in this one and in my bag as well. It's not the strawberry. So we'll see, I wanna melt it and see how I feel about it. I might add some carbs to it or something. <laughs> you know, one of her carbs blends or pie crust or something to give it more oomph, we'll see. The next one that I got was this pineapple upside down sugar cookies. Yum, and some chunks of there. Mmm, oh, that's delightful. So I get pineapple sugar cookies, I really do. This is so good. Yeah, I would order this in larger quantities, 100%. I mean, many of these I would, but yeah, I don't have this one in any other size, and this will be going on the list to make sure I pick it up if she puts it on a restock. This next one is Killer Kool-Aid, which is black cherry Kool-Aid and watermelon. So melon, for the most part, is not any kind of melon. I mean, this isn't bad. I think that the cherry and the watermelon together kind of counteract each other, which is kind of good. It's a very um, sugary sweet, definitely. Um, so we'll see how this is on melting. This might be, this one might go to my son. I might, because he likes that kind of fragrance, not like I'm just like, here, have my cat stuff. But no, I mean, I think he would like that one. This one is Candy Cane Lane, which is peppermint, buttercream, and strawberry euphoria, which is interesting blend there. I don't know, honestly, how I feel about peppermint and strawberry. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Not sure about this one, but in any case, I would be putting this aside probably for next Christmas. We'll see, and I don't know. This one might be might be a no. <clears throat> okay, next one we have is Speechless, and I was very happy that I got a, a um, got some samples of this because I know people rave about it, and I was a little afraid to order. You know, I probably could have ordered a, a chunk muffin, but um, yeah, I was a little afraid. Coastal Kale, Raindrops, and Satsuma. So I wasn't really sure. I mean, I like Satsuma. This one is really nice. It's a clean, fresh, 
fragrance. It really, yeah. I mean, it borders to me <laughs> on the, you know, I get my lipstick on these all the time. It borders on a little, what I think is floral or perfumey. It's got the note in there to me, but it's fresh. It smells fresh and clean. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this one and I might try melting it in my bathroom to see how I feel. I think my son will really like this one. I can see why people like it, but I don't know if it's exactly for me. So we'll try it. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna melt it and see what I think and we'll go from there. <laughs> I don't know. That one's a hard one to say because you know I don't know if the floral will come out more, if the orange will come out. If the orange comes out a little bit more, I probably would like it a little bit better. I can always add a little bit of, you know, a hint more orange to it. I don't know. We'll try. <laughs> I, you know, I'm game. Let's give it a try. This next one I have is Cranberry Marmalade and the opposite of Keto. I do have a larger one of this one. It's Cranberries, Sugar Cookie Dough, Monster Cookie, Royal Sugar Cookie, Waffle Cone, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Pretzels. Let's see. Yeah, it's interesting because her cranberry is very predominant in a lot of her blends. I mean, I it smells like there's a lot of other, you know, bakery items in here. Yeah, it smells like a spiced cranberry to me. I'm trying to think of what else could be doing that in here. It's probably that frosted cranberry note that I was getting over there. So we're going to melt this and see how we feel about this one. I might need to blend it with a little bit more of something because it's kind of spicy right now. Or I might just hold on to it for the fall and my other bag as well. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. Spices right now are doing funky things to my nose. Anybody else have that happen where I was totally fine with spices and my nose right now is like, nope. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> Give us some fruit. I don't know. So we have this one. We have Blackberry Rainbow Sherbet Lemonade. So this is, uh, I think I have this one as well. Yeah, it's so nice. It's just so sugary. Yeah, you get that rainbow sherbet with some blackberry in there and lemonade adds a little bit more zip to it. It's really, really nice. My nose is saying yes to this one, so I like this one a lot. Then I got this Scoopable, which is Palo Santo and shaving cream there. And I like both of these. This uh, probably will go in my bathroom because I like, I really like both of these. I like the smell of shaving cream. And it's a perfect, like, smoky type of shaving cream scent really really nice so I'm pleased with this one and I will definitely be using this one and then I got two of these large um snowflakes I guess they are the first one is strawberries strawberries and cream donut holes so yeah this sounds definitely something up my alley mm, yeah it's a nice creamy strawberry donuts are definitely in the background Gives it some depth, as I like to say. I mean, that's lovely. I really like that one a lot. And this one, my son and I both said, wow. <laughs> I mean, sounds so simple, but this is just delicious. And we will order more of this for sure. Pink sugar and baked zucchini bread. Wow. Something about this combo and how she blended it. Mmm, this is just gorgeous. I... You get the creamy zucchini bread with that um, pink sugar. Oh, I love it. We just, I mean, we were floored. It is so, so beautiful. So yeah, more quantities of that, please. <laughs> okay, so the next ones we're gonna do are the chunk muffins. So I got four chunk muffins in here. The first one, and this one looks like it banged against some other stuff. It didn't break or anything, but it is, no worries, spearmint, peppermint, and eucalyptus. <laughs> My nose is saying no, <laughs> I'm not even opening this yet. I'm gonna hold on to this because this feels like something that would be excellent for, like you see those blends that are, you know, like sinus relief and things like that. So yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this one 
and because I don't honestly don't really love spearmint and eucalyptus together but I'm going to hold on to this one and we'll see <laughs> but yeah that one kind of got a little I don't know what happened there and you know traveling the globe can <laughs> make these change a little bit and this one is another one I'm going to set this aside but I can smell it through the bag <laughs> this one is really strong <laughs> This one I might be passing on because, you know, Christmas tree scents in me, I have to be really, really careful. Um, I am allergic to pine. Pine and wax doesn't bother me, but, you know, how that goes psychologically, I'm like, eh. So if it's a strong tree, I can't handle it. And this, I can, like I said, I can smell it through the bag. It is Oh Christmas Tree and Swizzle Sticks. So this one might be a random act of kindness along with some other stuff for people that love tree. I know there's a ton of people that love tree scents. That's not me. Unfortunately, I wish because my husband does. This next one is Blackberry Mango Cup of Cake. And this is fabulous. Really, really nice. I wanted to dig into this one. Mm, you'll get that mango, first of all, and then the blackberry with that cupcake. It, it smells exactly like a delicious cupcake with those two flavors in it. And it, look at how gorgeous these are. I should take it out and show you how pretty I mean look at you got it on the bottom and look at how pretty that is I mean just gorgeous so yay <laughs> that one's really nice and this last one is raspberry key lime pie which is raspberry sauce and key lime pie so I love both of those sounds delicious smells delicious. I definitely get the key lime pie with it's in it. It smells like there's some raspberry sauce, so it doesn't overpower the key lime pie. Mmm, that's really nice. Really, really nice. Okay. All right. So if you've been hanging around, <laughs> you're waiting to see. <laughs> okay. So you're ready to know, <laughs> to ready to see <laughs> the loaf that I got. I took it out of the package. Okay. So if I show it to you, we're going to know what it is. <laughs> For those of you that know Rose Girls, want to guess? So I was thrown, I will say, by the name and then what it looked like. So the name is Sherbert Land. And I was like, yes! I mean, that's the first thing I looked at in the box, truly. I know, pathetic. But I wanted to know because that's the biggest item, obviously, right? So I was thinking it was like all kinds of different sherberts. <laughs> now, <laughs> let me read you the scent notes on it. It is Ice Palace Blue Sugar Vanilla Ice Cream and that has mint, snow powder, and tonka in it. So this is the loaf right here. And I will tell you, I don't know how I feel about blue sugar. Still trying to figure that out. <laughs> And my nose doesn't like mint right now. So, question to all of you is, what would you do? <laughs> Tell me in the comment section down below, what would you do or what have you done? If this has happened to you in the past, <laughs> what would you do? I, I, Part of me feels bad. I do. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. I mean, my husband knows. I mean, obviously, I'm like, oh, I don't know about the loaf. But part of me thinks like, well, should I try it? Should I melt it because, you know, it was a gift and, you know, but he doesn't, honestly doesn't care. So I want to know, would you de-stash de it, <laughs> if I could say it, and get another loaf um, from Rose Girls when she offers them of something else that you, you know, really like? Would you do that? Because, I mean, I'm kind of leaning in that direction, but I guess I kind of, <laughs> what you guys would do. I don't know. I mean, part of me is like, I don't know. Should I do that? Should I not? So let me know. What would you do in this situation? I will tell you there were probably only three or four on her whole list because I looked at the list before I did this, you know, before I was planning on if she ever offered any of the um, big kahuna boxes because I know you have to be really fast. Um, would I do it based on, you know, the chance of getting one of these, you know, one of the Mario Melter's loaf. And, you know, there's probably only four, three or four on that whole list that I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. And 
So yeah, I mean, and at that time I thought, well, I can always de So So I probably will do that, but I wanna know your thoughts <laughs> down below on what you would do. <laughs> but I will tell you that I like pretty much everything else. I'm looking around and I'm like, okay, so, you know, the Christmas tree and the no worries, those two, I don't know, I might de-stash those as well, or, you know, random, included in a random act of kindness for somebody I know that really enjoys those. I don't know, but I mean, everything else I will definitely melt. So would I, <laughs> would I recommend this 100%? Would I do this again? Yes, I would 100% do this again. Probably wait a little while. Um, I might do it you know, to get some of her fall maybe scents. I don't know, but I probably won't do it again right away, obviously. I mean, that's a lot of wax and <laughs> do I want to keep, you know, dropping the money for a big kahuna? Probably not, but it was fun. And I would recommend it 100% if you're thinking about it and you have a chance to get one of these and the money and the chance to get one, I would say go for it. It's fun, you get a lot of different scents. And yeah, I would highly recommend it. So thanks so much for joining me today on my Big Kahuna box. Let me know in the comment section down below what you would do if you've ever purchased one of these before. And what was your love? <laughs> what did you get? So it was great talking with you today. And I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.